Hey, how's it going everyone? Jurassic Ninja. Um, I was going to do a repair video on some Super Nintendos, but I can't seem to locate my one and only Super Nintendo power cord. So, um, as some of my fans know, because they, they uh, read my community post, I bought 15 broken consoles and I'm going to make videos hopefully repairing them. I know absolutely nothing about console repairs and I'm going to be, uh, well, you guys are going to be on a journey with me trying to learn all about it and hopefully in the comment sections are mostly positive, pointing me in the right direction, helping me learn, uh, especially like terminology and just about everything. Um, I watch a lot of this guy named, uh, his channel is uh, MyMateVince.com and he started the same way and uh, he really motivated me to, to do this. So what we're going to do today is I got these two broken Xboxes. Well, they're, they claim them to be broken. I have yet to plug these in and try them at all. And um, since Xboxes use very common power cords and I have tons of AV cables for them, I figured uh, let's give it a shot and see what's wrong with these things. Picked a random game in my room and a random controller. Just happens to be the Halo Green. We'll try this one first. And I'll make sure it's all in camera so we can see it all. Just plugging it in. And I don't know if you're like me, I like to uh, turn the console on by pressing the eject button. Uh, I don't know why. Well, that's a good start. It boots up. Let me turn it down. So it's looking like the eject, it doesn't eject maybe. Yeah, I don't think it's ejecting. Nope, it's def I definitely hear some noise. Listen to this. It's kind of like grinding gears in there or something. Um, I could do the hitting the top trick. Uh, my Xbox actually has a sticky drive, so let's try that. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope. Hey, it's got a game in there. Stop. Look at that. It's got Morrowind, and that actually is pretty cool because uh, I have it, but it's still pretty cool. I just I know the drive is still pretty messed up. I just want to see if it reads games. All right, so it's 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 not a bad Xbox. It just has a sticky drive, which might be an easy fix. We're going to open this one up and see if we can fix it. But first, let's test the other console. Here we go. <laughs> Sticky disk drive. Come on, man. I heard that one just hit like a thump. Now, this one, I think, is actually a sticky drive because it sounds normal. And it did that thump noise, which t tells me it tried to eject and got stuck. Where the first one, you can hear some motoring going on, like some bad motors going. Ee! More of like a. Ee! So, um. Yeah. Ta-da! And I guess we'll see if it reads games. Hey! Check it out! Could just need some greasing. Let's dive in. So I don't want to work on the carpet, and I don't really have any proper setup yet, so I see this giant book here. <laughs> Let's use the hits. All right. Hey, I don't think there's any problem with that. So let's open this up. Check this out. This is a like a consoles toolkit, and it's got like all the bits for all the consoles, and it's got all these cool wedges, and uh, this thing's a beast. <laughs> let's see. So is it this whole, this whole thing? Whoa, hello. Uh, um, oh, I see a screw over here. I don't know, hopefully we can get it not to be sticky. Okay. 
Okay, well, uh, that came off pretty good. Uh, let's see if you can see in there. Looks really clean. Um, of course, I need to be on the other side. Ooh, that's dusty. Shit. Should I take... Well, I see some... Not sure if you can see that or not, uh, but there's some gears and stuff in there. <sighs> Aha! Check that out. And looks like I could... Look at this. Oh, yeah. Check that out. All of that gunk right in there. That could definitely have an effect on ejecting the disc, I think. All right. So I cleaned it out with some alcohol and stuff. But one thing I'm seeing is that the this uh, rubber band seems pretty loose and um, I don't know if that can have something to do with it but I mean there was a lot of dirt in here so after cleaning it what I want to do is I'm gonna hook it all back up and see what happens oh, it, oh my god look at this look at that dust oh my god Goodness gracious. Toothbrush. Dip, 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 dip. Where's the uh, clock battery go? I don't know where that one goes. Which one's the clock battery? I have to Google that. I don't have any blown capacitors in here that I can see, but I could replace the clock battery one if I find it. I'll have to Google that, but for now let's work on the, just the disk drive here. Let me put this back on. Ugh, dust. Let's press the eject button and see what happens. Why do I, why, why does everything I do go make it worse? Is there something wrong? Did I not plug something in? Now it's got red light. God dang it. Plug it in. Power. So I did something to the disk drive. Okay, let's get to know. That's good to know that it's the, I didn't do anything to the main board. So the disk drive, I must have plugged something in wrong. So let's bring that back in. No way! Check this out! Look at that! Look at that! Let's put it, the shell back on and see if that has any issues that will cause it to not open and close. It's got this little magnet part here, so let's, let's continue on. Okay, let's check it out. Here we go. No, see, look at that, it got stuck. Interesting. So it has nothing to do with the drive itself. I have to do some research on that. I don't know why I have to hit it then. 
It was opening just fine when this shell was off. All right, so the video I watched said it had to do with that, that belt that was in there. Um, so let's go back in and check it out. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna leave this open though. There's that band. Let's take, I'm gonna take it out. And uh, what he did is he just just rubbed it down with the paper towel and it cleaned and it worked after that. Um, shoot, I don't have a paper towel with me. Um, I have a sock. Let's use a sock. I know that's gross, but that's what I got. Here we go again. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Still stuck. Interesting. Okay, so... I got these little ties from my daughter here. I got two of them. Uh, they're a lot smaller in size, but uh, let's try it out anyway. There it is. The green rubber band's in there now. I got it in there. And uh, it's just one right now. Uh, I'm going to put the other one in too. Let's see if that does anything. It's really tight now. That's what she said. Okay. It does! Look at that! Look at that! The green rubber bands are doing it! It's coming out a little slower. Check that out! It's working! So the green rubber bands, I'm gonna keep those in for now. Uh, I'm gonna go on eBay and order some uh, Xbox rubber band replacements. I'm sure that's really cheap. Let me check. There's a prime, a 10 piecer for, here's a, ten, a tenner here for $6.99 and that's prime. I'm gonna get that one. You know what though, this is filming really hot and I bet you that thermal paste is hard as a rock. And this is a pain in the ass to get off. What the hell man? Oh, yeah, that thermal paste is like non existent. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'll take care of this. The perfect amount. Oh, yeah. Let the bad talk begin. Let's just put that on. Okay, and then try to figure out this contraption here. Oh, that wasn't so bad. No, that wasn't so bad. That one's done. I just can't get this one off. I'm dedicated. I got it. Whew, that was a pain in the butt. Oh my god, that thing's like glued on there. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, that is like freaking rocks that's gonna be tough to replace it's on there let's uh see if it still works right there put back together Check button. Huh? Huh? Let's let's put a game in. Um well yeah, everything works great, so I'm calling this a win. It's clean, it's fixed. I just need to fix replace the uh rubber band in the disc drive because right now I just have some cheap uh, little hair ties for my daughter's hair. As you can see, it opens up. Love it, but those rubber bands are gonna snap any, like, yeah, they're gonna snap. So, um, but I order them on Amazon and I'll, I'll, and I'll replace those.
I know this one works and it could be the motor in there or something, but it does eject if I hit it. Uh, let's try cleaning the rubber bands and see what happens. Nope. But I wonder... Okay, so I got some more of these my daughter's rubber bands and uh, let's try it out. Okay, I got two on there. Let's put it back together now. Okay, here we go. Huh? You see that? Look at that! Check that out! That's all it is. They called us broken because it just needed new rubber bands? Come on, people! Let's double check that it reads the game again. This one might need a new clock capacitor. Um, we'll worry about that later. I just want to see if it reads the game. Okay, reads the game. Let's see if it needs a new capacitor. Look, here's the deal. This video is already too long. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the thermal paste off camera and check if they needed blown capacitor in here, replacement or not. Uh, but I'm calling these bad boys fixed. Um, I was gonna do a giveaway on one of these, but I'm not going to just because I need to replace those rubber bands still. And I got them from Amazon and I have no idea when they're going to get here because they're only delivering essential stuff. So uh, with one of my other videos, if I'm able to fix one of those consoles without needing any additional parts, I'll give away one of those. I just don't know what yet, but I will give away a console and I'll give more details into that in another video. But for now, I have fixed two Xboxes that were claimed broken and I feel pretty good about that. Um, Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take it easy.